What's up YouTube Graphic Geek here and welcome to a game called The Convenience Store and what it says in Japanese is Yakin Jiken. Yes, I looked it up. Uh, so this is a Japanese horror game about uh, you being in a convenience store and Yakin Jiken actually means night shift. So you're working night shifts in a Japanese convenience store. There's a lot of things stacked on one another and it's, I don't know, it's a recipe for an interesting game. So let's jump right into it i don't want to i don't want to solve for time much or for you game developers out there this was made in unity so let's check out the capabilities of that engine as well so it's time it's time guys it's 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 time to play this game i need to get ready for work okay moment wsd and track with this and options so the escape okay so we so we've got a Okay, she said something. Okay, so we've got a whole noir kind of uh, filmy grain view to this camera. Like, I really like how uh, all of this stuff seems. Okay, is that blood on the wall? Okay, we've already got blood on the wall, so that's a nice start. And the clock's ticking, but the clock's not working. So, two good signs of uh, this being a horror game. Okay, so let's interact with the door. Okay, it's dark outside. Okay, no shit, we're working a night shift. It's gonna be dark outside, okay? Okay, let's... Let's see what I... What else I gotta do. <sighs> okay, excuse me, guys. I... Unpopular opinion or popular opinion, like... Uh, tell me in the comments below, but... Uh, Japanese is, like, the scariest language ever, like... Whatever you say in Japanese, even though it's a greeting, it sounds scary as shit. Like, there's something about Japanese language that just gives me the creeps. Is that so with you guys? Let's tell me in the comments. I like to read comments while eating my breakfast. Like, tell to me. Okay, pick up flashlight. Yeah, pick up flashlight. Okay, what's this? Change clothes? Yeah, change clothes. Okay, I changed my clothes, guys. No nudity here. YouTube-friendly content. I'm just changing my clothes. I'm a college girl. Recipe for um, okay, so you just wore clothes on top of whatever you were wearing or were you sleeping naked like I want to know Okay, so I think I'm I'm done here. Let's just go to the basement and Okay, I need to eat something change and grab a flashlight before I leave okay I need to eat something. Okay. What do I eat? Okay? This is a fridge the refrigerator Okay Shower thought. Why is it called a fridge with a D and when it's called refrigerator, it's not spelled with a D? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Just heard for comments here. Okay, so I need your guys' comments. Like, I don't give a shit about likes and stuff. Just just comment on stuff. That, that means the world to me. Okay, yeah. How do I eat? Okay, I have the food in my hand, but... I don't know how to eat it. Okay, do I gotta do I gotta cook it first? Do I gotta do all that shit? I hope not. Okay, door closed for no reason. Okay, maybe my lazy ass just slammed into it. Maybe maybe that's the case. Like, don't be so picky about eating your food. Like, like you can be picky about what you wanna eat, but where you wanna eat it, like, isn't that a bit too much? Oh yeah, microwave. Of of, of course. I have a microwave on top of the fridge like how many of you guys have a microwave on top of your fridge if any of you are watching this have a microwave on top of your fridge let me know in the comments <laughs> okay so the microwave will beep on its own and uh, close the fridge okay close the fridge guys remember what your mom told you in a childhood if you don't close your fridge uh, the ice age will come and uh, the whole world will freeze to death if you don't close that fridge a real top. Okay, boom. Eat bento. Yes, eat bento. Okay, bento. Uh, I've heard that in Yandere Simulator. Bento is like Japanese lunch, like Japanese lunch box with like little <clears throat> little compartments built in so you can uh, eat. Okay, I'm finally ready. I have a flashlight. I am dressed. I have eaten. I have. Okay, college girls. Like seriously, you gotta have so much maintenance. That's why I don't have girlfriend. Boom. Let's go outside was that okay i think i gotta go to the convenience store now like that's the whole point of the game the 
game's name is the convenience store. I haven't been to the convenience store yet. I've just been at my home. Like, this is not called the home in the middle of nowhere, right? This is called uh, the convenience store. I can sprint, right? Yeah, I can, I can sprint, but... It's the same as walking. Like, I don't know why she walks like that. Like, she... Like, she walks like, uh... Like, look at her walking animation. She walks like this, alright? Oh, yeah. She walks like this for some reason. She's just like rocking out, rocking out to some tunes. Stuck in the first part of the game for, like, it's gonna be morning by the time I get to the convenience store. It's gonna be called the morning shift instead of the night shift because I've been stuck in this part for a good hot minute now. I'll just cut this part out because it's ten minutes already and I haven't. Okay, I got down, baby. I'm not gonna have to cut this part out. Because I got down, okay, so, uh, the way the convenience store is way too, okay, the background noise just kind of eased up, so, woo, that's a convenience store, that looks like a gas station, but it is a convenience store, uh, kombini, as it's called in Japanese, uh, have you heard that song, McDonald's and convenience stores, like, <laughs> I gotta put a link to that in my de description, like, it's a must listen, guys, okay, whoa, a hobo, Okay, is your face all bloodied up or... Okay. You got beat up, man. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Haya! Okay, what the fuck? Why do you shout here? Okay, this dude is bloodied up. Okay, is that just the graphics or... Did this dude get mugged up by a bunch of... Uh, Japanese Yakuza people. Okay, is that what happened? Woo, I'm here, man. What's up, my homie? Why are you looking at me like that? Why, why are you the ghost here? Like, look at his head. Like, it just goes from here to there. And you, yeah, man, you behind the counter. Oh, oh God, you made it. Oh, my God. I, I, I made it. We, we made it to a convenience store, guys. We made it to a convenience store and us making it a big achievement. Leave it like now. Hmm? Oh, no, it's just that I recently heard someone. I fell off the bridge. You just crossed. Okay. Japan guys there was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way Scary stuff if only this was a true story. Ha 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 sorry Okay, no, you you aren't funny dude. Sorry. Okay. Let me take over your shift now enter Enter counter so I've entered the counter guys. I am taking over your shift man. What are you waiting for punch in? Okay, what do I punch in this? I'm gonna punch you in the face if you don't shut up man. What do I punch in? I think some food are expired. Top tier English, guys. I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off shelves for me? Your manager. Fuck off, man. Uh, okay, whatever that is. I'll punch you in the face, man. Like, look how he's looking at me. He's not even looking at me. He's looking behind me. It's like that one meme where it says that you'll get a girlfriend in 2020 or 2019 and she always keeps looking behind your shoulder or something like that. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Punch in. Yeah. I want to punch that guy in the face. Okay, I punched in and that you just... Okay, yo, what's up, man? Exit? No, no. Okay, where are you going, man? Like, aren't you going to accompany me? Okay, so I'm by myself in this convenience store and uh, yeah. Are you open for business, guys? I'm open for business. Okay. Come on in, man. Like, the way he walks, like... All these lethargic guys, like, living a poor Japanese life. Yo, what's up, man? Why are you walking in slow motion? Where the fuck are you going, man? Hey, can I help you, sir? Okay. Okay, so what do I do in this convenience store, like... Why is this, why is this called a horror game? Like, I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna find out in, the, in a hot minute, but... Let's, let's move up, shall we? <laughs> Yo, what's up? Serving, serving people at the counter here? What do you want, sir? Okay, what is this? Okay. Uh, okay, I, I, arigato gozaimasu indeed, man. You just paid me with something and I just pushed it in, okay. I'm, I'm learning, guys. I'm learning how to be in the convenience store and yeah, I gotta 
Yeah, I'll take care of the spoiled food first. Okay, this shelf looks fine. This shelf looks okay. Looks like somewhere expired. Takes items off the shelf. Okay, yeah. Okay, trash expired food. Yeah, I'm not gonna go get any more expired food now. Like, screw that. This is way too much work. I'm 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 getting paid way less than I deserve. Right? Okay, so back in business, boys. Let's. Close this door behind us. Nothing, nothing fishy going on there. And, uh, yeah, what's up? More customers? Bring them in. I keep, I keep scaring myself at that door, like, when will I learn? So I think this is the only expired stuff left here. So let's, let's do my manager a favor and, uh, throw this expired stuff out. Why is this game... Give me scary vibes, but no jump scares here. Like this game is, this game is in for a long run. Like this game is in for the long haul. This game will build me up to a jump scare and then jump scare me. Like I know it's gonna jump scare me, but I don't know when. So I rarely buy a magazine, but I do buy Austin Lee magazine. Who's Austin Lee? Okay, I gotta, I gotta go behind the counter again. Okay, that's a customer. All right. Okay. Yo, what's up, man? You're bringing me stuff instead of me giving you stuff. But it's okay. Yo, Yakuza, man What's up, man? It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We have recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience store that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Uh, oh, and the name matches your tag. Okay, it's shipped to me instead of store. Um, I think this is for you. Okay, yeah, give me give me the package. Take it home. Home? Okay, you shouldn't take suspicious packages with you home, and I... The microwave is... Working by itself. Like, what is going on here, guys? This is crap of cake here. Okay, so is this a package? Okay, so this is the package. Okay, this is... This is a cassette tape. Okay, I think I have a cassette tape in my hands. I mean, I'm not old enough to know what that is, but I still dabble in technology here now. Okay, there is nothing in the microwave, and it was... running for no reason, okay? Scary, scary stuff here, guys. Okay, 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 okay. Put in the put in the tape in the TV. It doesn't have to be so scary, but it was. Watch closely. Watch closely. Don't watch closely. You'll get you get spectacles. I just uh, I'll just <sighs> never mind. Okay, so this is the tape that I got for my um. This package was addressed to me, right? Okay, so that's it. That's the tape. Where's the jump scare coming? What? Tape that just showed police tape. Was that Japanese police tape? Because it was it was yellow, right? It 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 just might be Japanese police tape, like I don't really know, but okay, pick up flashlight, yeah, pick up flashlight, okay. Let's just go out of the house and uh, back to the convenience store, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? First night. Okay, I'm glad I have one headphone off so I don't get that scared. Okay, it said first night for some reason. I hope it doesn't switch to last night or something like that because that's gonna be really, really scary. Okay, let's just go to the convenience store. I think this is the right way because the music started to fade off. And this is the bridge that the old woman or whoever fell off from. Okay, first of all, let's just check up on that hobo man that warned us about something that I didn't understand, but... Okay, he isn't here. What's up, man? I'm back. Hey, yo. Hey, hey. So I heard you reported that the door would open on their own. Well, we got a guy who checks the sensor and it seems like the wirings were loose. Okay, so I wasn't mad. The door did open on sign, okay. Oh, you thought it was some kind of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Girls aren't real after all. I mean, they aren't real in real life, but they can be real in games, right? You don't know you're in a game, man. Like, you aren't self-aware. 
Would you please punch in? Yeah, I'll just go punch in, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go punch in your face, like... You piece of shit, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Yeah. There you go. Okay, I punched in, man. Uh, and he's gone. Yo, what's up, man? Okay, so what does the manager want me to do now? I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this, no one has to get rid of the road and say, Sap, your manager. Okay, is this manager paying me enough for doing this shit? Like, expired food, rodents behind the... Behind the store. Uh, box sprit. Okay, okay. That's the location and the police tape that I saw in that tape. I saw that tape in the tape. Okay, I can't read Japanese, so... I'm pretty sure that says keep out and don't go in because, uh... I mean, fuck, what, what else is it gonna say? Come in. Welcome. Home sweet home. No? Yeah, someone just came in. Someone just came in. Someone just came in. I think. Okay, someone is in my store, man. Hey, what's up? Oh, she's just an old lady. Just a sweet old lady, right? Okay, go get whatever you want. I'll... Uh, try getting the box spray. Okay, is that the box spray? No, that's not the bug spray. Okay, is that the bug spray? Okay, does bug spray even kill rats? Like, what am I thinking? She walks like that for some reason. Hey, can I help you? She's just smiling at me, like, real creepily. Okay, don't smile at me like that. Um, this reminds me so much of a PS1 game. Uh, 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 okay, she's going to the bathroom, okay. Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, rat spray. Boom. Okay, rat killer. That just... That just obliterates. That just vaporizes the rats. Okay, I need that in my life as well. I need I need rat... Rat killer like that. Okay, I think the old lady has left. All she wanted to do was use the bathroom. And uh, this is not a public toilet lady. Like, understand our sentiments here. Boom! Gotcha! Gotcha, bitch! Yeah, I got the rats and the poison also vaporized magically from my hand. And, uh... Yeah. Boom. Oh, what the fuck? Who is that? Okay, no, that's not that's not even a person. Okay. I'm hallucinating in the night shift. Like, I feel like I am on a night shift. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up! Okay, dude, this is a convenience store. You gotta pick stuff for yourself. Not not me doing that. Five cans of beer and a <laughs> My My is exactly. Sai, go get it. Uh, go get it yourself. Okay, beer. Okay, cute. Oh my god. I gotta get him one at a time. Here's one, man. Jesus, man. She Does she have only like one hand or whatever? Here's second can. Screw you, man. Screw you. Like, seriously. Like, he's getting me to get him a can of beer. One at a time. And then a pack of cigar. Okay, here's here's your cigars, man. Like, there you go. Pay for your stuff. Oh, my God. Being in a convenience store is so much work. Like... Sentiments for me as a convenience store girl. Okay. I suppose I completed the mission for today and uh, another package should be arriving. Right, fact. Head bob. Okay, I can, I can turn off the head bob so she'll just walk like this instead. Okay, this is way better. This is way better. Oh, no, man. The head bob actually gives it a kind of wobble but nah, I, I think I'm gonna keep it on it's just as the charm of game as I get out of the store okay what the f okay so the old lady's back hey what's up what do you, what do you need I thought she left already her huh where's Cancun you know where Cancun is who's Cancun uh, I thought I heard his voice this was my daughter's house what did you do how dare you okay what the fuck is happening I'm gonna go hide behind the counter. Thank you very much. 
I am invincible behind the counter. You can do nothing to me. Okay, I think I shall blood on her face for some reason. Okay, yeah, just just go out of my just go out of my store. Yeah, thank you very much. Just go out of my store, yeah. It's not me doing that. The co-worker said they fixed the wiring, so I know I'm not I know I'm not insane. I'm not gonna go check it out. Because of course I'm not. Okay, the door's bugging out. Of course the door's bugging out. I gotta go check it out. I think I think I gotta go look in the CCTV and uh, figure what's going on because, like, screw this, like literally. The CCTV, yeah, use CCTV. Okay, let's check who's causing all the trouble. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, there was someone. Okay, there was someone kicking the door and. Uh, I gotta put my headphones back on. Okay, there was someone kicking the door and uh, running away because what the fuck? Okay, yeah, what's up, man? Do you have another package for me? Good to see you again. Oh, you know the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, they need. There seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Is there a package? Okay, let me go check. Oh, there is. Hey, what's up, man? Here, here you go, man. Here, here you go. Here's a package. Okay, what's the deal with this guy and his packages? I, c I can't do anything. Like the package guy went away, and there's nothing I can do except go out, which I'm gonna second night. And uh, get the umbrella. Okay, I think it's raining outside. I didn't get the get the flashlight as well. Yo, what the fuck is that? Open it. Okay, so she closed the pack. Uh, I mean, she closed the door on the package and uh, open it. Um, where's the package? Okay, there it is. Okay, it's another tape. Another tape, guys. Let's put it in and watch. Watch closely. Watch closely, guys. Watch, watch closely what I'm about to show you in this type because it's gonna be a police tape again, or it's gonna be some kind of ghost. Uh huh. Okay, so I think it's raining outside, so man, let's. Okay, it's heavily, heavily raining outside. Okay, so I'm putting in so much work here for working for these guys, and uh, even though it's raining so, so hard here, uh, the thing about working at convenience stores is, is that there's always a roof over them, so the rain doesn't affect them, but it affects the employees that. Uh, that have to go to work in the rain so that's something I guess okay so I have memorized the route to um, the convenience store and uh, it won't take me much long to get to the convenience store because this is not my first day at work is it okay so okay what the f okay is that my umbrella I'm not even holding it I'm just I just uh, I just set it on top of my head and it's just the umbrella is like dangling on top of my head like it's sat on top of my head because I don't have arms I only have one hand and I can only grab what my manager says so there's kind of a weird ordeal going on here with this umbrella because it's it's bobbing with my head and and I can only mean one thing that the umbrella is actually on my head yep Umbrella on my head, guys. It's it's it's, it's a new trend. Like, get on with it. There's a store, and uh, whew, I'm putting in so much work for these fucking managers. I I never see the manager. Like, does he even pay me, or is that just I don't know? 
Okay, where's the fucking guy? Okay, where's the guy that I was supposed to talk to? Like, where, where is he? Did he not come here? Like, is he in here? Okay, is it? Okay, what the fuck is that? Okay, I can pick something up in the in the storeroom, I guess. Let's. Okay, I hope he's not dead in here. Like, I don't want to see blood. Okay. What is that? Cute drop item. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it here. Okay, yeah, whatever. I gotta read the manager's notes to do that. I'm trapped in here? No way. Okay, it just unlocked automatically. Okay, I don't want to work at this convenience store anymore. Like, no. Okay, let me punch in. Let me punch that guy in the face. Are you here, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, boo. <laughs> Oh my god, it's, that's not a way to scare someone like, screw you man, I got you good, huh? Yeah man, you, you definitely got me good. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, I'll stop. Dude, stop, I promise I wouldn't do it again. Dude, you better not do it again or I'll punch you in the face. I'm not gonna punch my ticket in, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Like, that's fucking, okay, it's 12, 12 a.m. It's 12 o'clock right now and I can't be messing with you right now. Okay, what the fuck was that? Dude, what the hell? What? Someone's been sending a VHS tapes? That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Hmm, it's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. I mean, it's just a video, but, uh, dude. You don't have to scare me like this. What the hell, man? This looks like some guy's head is, uh, splurp. It's like that some real person's head is pasted onto this comical guy's head and this guy's like <laughs> I'm glad this guy looks funny because if they didn't look funny I'd have been fucking dead right in the spot here. Okay yo what's up man? Why is your hand does why does your hand look all that bond and stuff? I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and just head right out. Okay, man. So why did he even come in? What's for me to do today? Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelf full. That's our motto. So please restock them but tomorrow morning. Your manager. Okay, so... Uh, restocking the shelves, but the door over here keeps locking itself, so... I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I'm not I'm not even gonna close the door. Actually, I'm just gonna drop it here. I'm gonna look into your stuff first. Okay, yeah, what's up? Gotta pick this up and there you go. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on the midnight shift alone? I mean yeah. I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Protection charm? Okay, thank you. I need all the protection I can get, like, seriously. Uh, spirit protection charm. I hope that doesn't bring the spirit towards me instead of keeping it away from me. I'm a big, strong man. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be getting scared with this stuff. Okay, I stocked the things and uh, let's check how the um, air conditioning guy is doing about that. Okay, all fine here, all fine here. Where's the air conditioning guy? Are you cool, man? What the fuck happened back there? Okay, someone broke the tape. Someone, bro someone broke the tape back there. Like, what? I think I'll go back to check it because... <laughs> I mean, what, what what choice do I have? Gotta go back and check it because, uh... Apparently, I'm the security guy as well. 
keep one headphone off okay uh this is the thing that i learned from playing sim lacquer too like when you're gonna when you know you're gonna get jump scared just take one side of the headphone off and uh, you'll get less scared i mean i'm sure you want me i'm sure you want me to get scared and stuff but uh, the thing is i don't want to get scared you hear that Something like that. That's 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 the demon back there. What is this? A wrench? Okay, the AC guy. Open AC. Why am I fixing the AC myself? What is the AC guy's thing? Why am I opening the AC myself? Okay, the AC is open. Okay, I got a key for some reason. I got a key to something. And uh, the convenience store just has a dark fucking secret that I just unlocked. The door is unlocked. However, my arm goes numb when I try to open it. It feels as if something is grabbing me. There you fucking go. Here's the horror part of this game. Like, about fucking time. This game has been scary all the, all the while, but... Uh, get in here. I can't open it. I mean, you you actually can open it, but the thing about it is, you're just a pussy, which uh, I am too because I'm not. I'm not wearing one of my headphones, but I'm not the one choosing to work here in the supermarket. You are. This isn't even a supermarket. This is a convenience store. Well, pardon me for our, for what I'm to say here. Whew, the convenience store. The convenience store. Le Combini. I'm back. Okay. What the fuck is going on there? Okay, so do you see that there? The um, uh, toilet uh, just. Uh okay, why is it raining in here? Like, do you see the rain droplets? Uh, do you see the rain droplets there? Like, it's raining in here. It's raining inside the bathroom. Like, what is going on here? Okay, why did it close? I'm trapped. Oh well, open this shit for me, please. Uh, this is locked. Whoa! What the fuck? Something is destroying my convenience store. I don't know what it is. Someone is punching in. Someone is punching in uh, my stuff. Uh, I gotta stop them now. Get behind the counter. Who is it? Who is it? Gotta look in the CCTV! I know I'm gonna get jump scared in the CCTV because I saw a screenshot of uh, someone in the, in the CCTV. Oh, what the fuck? <coughs> what was that? Let let me take a moment to calm down here and I commentate on it. Okay, so uh, the little ghost lady, the little ghost demon, just uh, screamed at me and just uh, came in my face. Like that's not, no. What was that? Like why did she jump in on my face? Like I knew I was gonna get scared in the CCTV because I knew the CCTV jump scares are pretty common, but. Uh, yeah, I think we are nearing the end of this game, guys. So at least it's gonna be over. At least it's gonna be over. At least it's gonna be over, guys. The thing about this game is, like, this game's pretty well made, and, uh, like, all the horror elements and all the Japanese stuff on top of it. I, like I said at the start of the episode, this game keeps stacking things up one on another, and, uh, it's really good, but, uh, the one negative I'd like to say about this game is that it's really easy to get stuck and then. You can't do really. You can't really do anything. Just, I mean, you are just stuck there, and that's that's about it. Okay, pick up talismans. I just thought this was, I mean, <laughs> pieces of candy scattered on the floor, but these are actually talismans. Okay, I have uh, talismans now. Okay, what do I do with the talismans? And why does the screen go black? Okay, I have a talisman. I don't know what it says, but. Uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do I go stick the talisman on the door so it'll open? I mean, I know I gotta do something with the door, like, 
that's the whole point of the game. Um, I'm gonna go stick this talisman on top of the door, or at least try to. I mean, let's just go try to do that because I've tried almost everything by now and uh, nothing's working out for me. So, um, the talisman that I have is a, a scary Japanese talisman. So, a scary Japanese talisman goes well with a uh, scary Japanese door. Exorcise the door. See, there it is. I just, I just knew there'd be an option to. Uh, stick it on the door or do something like exercise the door boom what the fuck okay it, it opened it opened i released the kraken i released the monster and the door is exercised now and uh, the fuck? it says it says four whoa 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 manager okay so the manager is dead the manager is actually dead. Ma sir. Why did the man- Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. Oh, yeah, don't come in. No. Sir, manager? Oh my god, he's vaping up. It's actually funny, you know. Manager. I'm fucked for both sides. Like, there's a bell on that side, and there's a pit on this side. Don't come in. I don't know what to do. Third night. Did I die? Did I just get killed? What just happened? What just happened? Something just happened and uh, not sure what, what happened but uh, okay there's there's another tape in here. Let me try playing this tape. I mean I hope I hope it's the last tape or at least it's something related to progress because how many nights are there? Like it's gonna say 200 night or like 69 night and uh, Okay, this is a bit of a longer tape. Okay. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? What was? Wh what are you talking about? I didn't even see the bridge this time. It's getting darker and darker. So I think... If the convenience store road was a little bit shorter, I think I would have been uh, much better at it. But then again, uh, I don't know, like, how would I have made this game? I wouldn't, I wouldn't possibly make something like this. So kudos to you, developer. And yeah, so this is the convenience store again. Uh, the manager is dead or has been dead for a couple of days. So I don't know what uh, they want me to do. And uh, where is the guy? I hope he doesn't jump scare me again because screw you, man. Like, he promised not to do it again. Then again. Okay, is there blood on the computer? Like, I didn't notice that before, but there is blood on the computer. And there's... Why is there blood on things? Like, there isn't supposed to be blood on things. But then again, let's exit. What? Wh what's wrong with the store? Like... What are these crab like? Okay, these are nails. Why are all these nails splatter? Okay, why did, why did the lights go off? Like, all I did was exit from here and I can't even... Okay, the barrier is gone now. The barrier is gone and I can't... Uh... Okay, so... This is really horrifying. All the stuff is replaced by TVs. Turn on. Whoa! Do I gotta turn on all the TVs? Everything's so dark, like, look in the CCTV, I can't even see shit. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you guys see something just move there? Okay, who the hell is that? Okay, look. Some some kid is uh, moving in my supermarket. And, uh, okay, let's, let's go catch him. Okay, so there's some guy walking around in my supermarket, and... Uh, 
I mean, convenience store. I'm calling a supermarket so much. Okay, where is he? Like. Okay, I can't open this. So I can go. I can go out of here and. Okay, there, there he is. Like. Okay, there he is. There he is. There he is. Do you look at him? Like, do do, do you see him? That's. What is he doing there? Okay, there he is. So. He looks at specific TV. So. I think that's a kind of a puzzle element to this game. So he looks at specific TV. So there's that one right there. So the one beside the X. So I think I gotta turn on the TVs that he is looking at. One eternity later. Hey, so we're back, guys, and uh, I carefully looked at the TVs, and uh, there was these were the specific TVs that he was looking at. So that took quite a while like I was I was shitting on this game for having a monotonous walk cycle like there from there from the house to the convenience store but the TV thing is the most annoying thing in this game period this took me so so much time and I'm, I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna talk about it. like that's enough but the TVs are not turning off right now and there's some kind of boy cry in the background so the TV puzzle is solved. Boom. Oh, there's a guy now. So, this is the little shit that was... Uh, whoa. Okay, that was a little shit that was uh, looking at the TVs. So, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where am I? Okay, where am I? Where is this? Okay, the convenience store is back to normal again. Wow. So, that's good I guess I mean the convenience store is back to normal but I can't I can't go to the counter so I guess I guess I gotta go back then huh we gotta go back whoa the final tape okay bring home okay fourth night we're gonna finish this game finally it's been like 69 hours recording this game and i'm like sick of it like all the fun of this game has been drowned by the constant not being able to figure out what to do and uh, the fucking okay so what is this huh okay so another tape okay Okay, so I think this is a multiple kind of deal. I can either play the tape, I can either put it back in the box, or I can throw it in the trash. So what, what do I do? You know what? I'm just gonna put it back, like, send it off to someone else. Do I want to send the tape off to someone else? Okay, let's, let's, let's look at the tape, okay. Throw away? No. No, don't throw away. Or... Watch it? No. Okay, so I think this is the ending. So we gotta make a call to either watch it, to either send it off someone else or throw in the trash. So I think uh, the curse of the tape has to be transferred to someone else because that's how curses work, right? Curses work by either passing on to someone else. Like, if you throw it in the trash, another, another tape will come on in. And if you watch it, chances are another tape will come on in so I think the only logical way to go through with this is send it off so I'm gonna do that are you sure okay um, yeah I'm sure <clears throat> this is the ending I want to choose yep okay I was sickened by the whole situation I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was in the box. I mean, if it was, why didn't you do so earlier? When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my ten shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up, but I knew I had to rest. But I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. 
What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I mean, I did. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned on the internet about the store. I turned to the internet of the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. Okay. One comment on a screen forum stood out to me. It said, there seems to be having gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was a miss mainstay of the family committed murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. Okay, so this is like a diary. It's, it's going on like a diary. September 14th. The man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to grocery shopping to a local supermarket. While the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of death. Uh, the woman was killed with several nails punctured to her along with the child in the stomach. Okay, the nails. You see that? I wanted to throw up on the obscene images but I knew I had to continue there was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he had worked at the same place as him according to him the man was often harassed by his boss at work and he had complained to several colleagues and on the day of the incident it is said that he had an emotional face okay is that why their faces are plastered on like that's part of the lore now Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head, it was very painful. With tears in my eyes, close the internet gently, close the internet gently, and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hozoi, a franchise leader I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then, with a shivering voice, he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hoso that said that there was a whole storage behind the convenience store and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could. Because every time I passed the front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible as to not look at the building. A day later, the store is closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or courage to examine it anymore. Poor management? The manager is dead. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, I passed by the now closed down store. I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. Okay, so the woman is that pregnant lady that the man had killed in the gruesome killings when the store had been built so that's the story about the convenience store so why the killings have been happening like most of the Japanese games the thing is there is no explanation as to how the horror stuff began or how the horror stuff goes but this game actually has a story and this game actually has an explanation as how to as to how the convenience store got so spooky. A game by Chillazard. So that's the end. Yeah. Chillazard supporter cameos. Okay, there are actually cameos. Okay, Austin Lee's. Austin Lee is actually some guy. Uh, as Cup Raymond Label, as Rabbi Carrot Juice. Post from it. Okay, that's the sponsorship. Okay, listen to me talk about this game for a while. So, okay, this game was also featured on Patreon. I'm going to make my Patreon. And in a hot minute, and then you're gonna support it too, and I'm gonna put your names on my video. But then again, what I was gonna say is that this game wraps it up quite nicely, despite being a horror game. It doesn't really have horror elements like cheap jump scares, like that game I played a while ago that was called The Mortuary Assistant. It had cheap jump scares and it aimed to scare you because it was a prototype. But then this game has a lore, and then the scares are part of the lore, and then you're not really really like scared to be scared but then you're scared because of the elements of the game and then all the whole ambience of this game and the, the whole background and stuff like it's very well made like I recommend you try it for yourself because watching this video you wouldn't really get the feel that you are playing it but then when you play it you feel the jittery and the, uh, stuff that you feel inside you and then that's that's what gets you and that's what gets you so yeah Ooh, that's quite a ride. So that's all about the convenience store. If you want me to play any more games like this, which I don't really want to, but if you want, uh, I can do that. And uh, you can put me in the comments below. And 
I'm starting to think that I want to play more fun games from now because horror games are clearly not my top. But then again, if you want me to play any more games, just leave their names in the comment and they're gonna find them on Steam or whatever and then just download it. So yeah, I've rambled for so long and uh, that's it for the convenience store. Hope you like the whole adventure. Like this is a pretty long episode. So if you stick to the end, leave a comment and I'm gonna pin it if you stick to the end because that means a lot to me and as always I really appreciate watching this video that's what makes me do these uh, quite every day and yeah as always I'll see you in the next video but for now keep trying.